It is a sad reality that some people within the LGBTQ community don't feel comfortable or safe when seeking medical care. Community Medical Centers is working to change that with policies, education, and cooperation. So there's a place for everyone, regardless of your gender or orientation. It was a story medical professionals heard too often. Will they be judged for um, trying to be their self? Members of the LGBTQ community avoiding medical care out of fear of misunderstanding or rejection, something employee Amanda Watson understands firsthand. Some concerns maybe about their identity doesn't match their legal documentation. What's going to happen to them if they go into the ER? How are they going to be treated? So community medical centers took action to make sure all members of the community feel welcome, whether they are a patient, employee, physician, student, or visitor. Everyone wants to be treated with dignity, and if we don't have discussions and policies in place, it's hard to understand um, those that we care for. The need is great here in the Central Valley. Last year alone, we added 90 new patients to my practice. We see about, I would say, anywhere between five and eight new patients per month. Dr. Julie Nicole is an advocate for transgender patients. She sees about 300 total at her OBGYN office on the campus of Clovis Community. Well, it is medical care like you know anything else whether it's diabetes or they come for all kinds of reason when they come see the OBGYN so for me it's no no different you know it's just that I'm one of the very few of them in the Central Valley that offers those services. Practices already in place throughout community medical centers include electronic health records that allow someone to identify as male, female, or non-binary, education on use of pronouns, as well as routine open discussions to keep up with LGBTQ issues. Communities already seeing a difference. We need to continue to grow on that. We need to take care of people wherever they're coming from, uh, however they present, and uh, they're still, it's, it's a very rewarding field. Each policy helps rewrite the story where LGBTQ patients can feel safe and cared for just like anybody else. For me, this is a, a very pivotal moment in I never thought I would see this in the Central Valley from a healthcare provider, and I'm very proud to be employed at a healthcare organization that is taking such a forefront at making sure that LGBTQ issues are addressed.